Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Recently, the Windows 10 October 2020 update has just been released. So I thought I'd show you how to slipstream that from start to finish. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is actually download the product, the latest version of Windows. In order to do this, we can go to www.microsoft.com slash en-gb slash software dash download slash Windows 10. It's called the Windows Media Creation Toolkit. You can literally just Google Media Creation Toolkit for Windows 10 and it will take you to this page. Once in this page, you've got two options. You've got Update Now, which will update the current system. That's not what we're interested in. And you can have Download the Create Windows 10 Media Tool. So we'll download the tool just now by clicking on that. And we can click on save. And as you can see, it's actually called Media Creation Tool 20H2. So that's 2020 half 2. So the second update of 2020. Windows 10 is updated bi yearly. So once that's been run, we double click it. Sorry, once that's been downloaded, we double click it to run and then say yes when user account control kicks in. And I'll say it's getting some things ready. Okay, it gives you a licensing agreement, so a lot of legal bump. Read at your leisure, but I'm just going to accept. Okay, so it gives me two options. So upgrade this PC, so meaning you can also use it instead of this option here. Or to create installation media for USB flash drive, DVD, ISO, or for another PC. Okay, so we're going to use that, so we click create installation media. And click next. It's going to ask us which version we want. Now I'm just duplicating the version that's on this machine. However, you can untick this box here and select whether you want the 32 bit architecture or the 64 bit architecture. And you can select the language that you want in. Obviously, I'm in the UK, so I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to click next. I want to create an ISO file. You can do this via USB as well. It's not a problem, I may do that in a separate tutorial, but for this one I'm going to use an ISO file, click next. It's going to ask me where I want to save it, so I will just save it onto the root of my D drive. I already have a version there, so I'm going to click yes. Now depending on the speed of your internet, this can take some time as it's downloading approximately 8 gigabyte of data. Okay, so that's taken one hour and seven minutes on my 300 meg line to download. 
Yeah, I think uh, Microsoft servers are a little on the slow side at the moment. Anyway, as you can see, it's been downloaded to decode slash Windows ISO. So we can click finish on that and it'll do some cleanup. And that's it cleaned up. That's how you get the latest version of Windows 10 downloaded to your machine. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.